All right, this is Mike with the Trike with Mike Texas YouTube page, channel, whatever you want to call it. And I'm a U.S. Navy veteran of submarines. I was on a submarine during the Cold War. And uh, every now and then I'm going to tell a sea story. Don't have to listen to it if you don't want. But they're usually pretty entertaining, I think, even for people that don't know anything about submarines. So when you go into port, you know, that's the best. I mean, you're not, you don't have to be on the boat. You're, you get some liberty. You get to get off the boat and go do stuff. Uh, we pull into the Philippines. That was a big liberty port. And... Uh, People went crazy there, but uh, I you know everybody goes out. You, you, beers are six cents. Um, it's just it's a great place. It's cheap, but uh, you know we were there. But you know being a submarine, you know they didn't usually give us any any barracks rooms to stay in while we were there even though we were there you know sometimes two or three weeks so everybody's living on the boat which you know we were at sea and living on the boat so it didn't really make too much difference and we're tied outboard another ship another boat so it's the pier this other boat it was a actually a diesel boat and then us and then so to get from the pier to the boat they have what's called a brow which is just a metal walkway that they they put on there with a crane when you get into port and then from from the pier to the first boat and then from the first boat to our boat so you had two little bridges that you walked up and they sat on this this uh metal piece uh that kind of you know sat on either side of the curvature of the sub and so you know it was a it was a good little step down it was maybe knee high but so it wasn't just a easy step it was a little bit of a step to get down off of that little platform onto the deck of the ship the sub the boat we call them boats but we're there in port i'm the below decks watcher actually I'm off watch. I just got off watch. It's coming up on midnight. And we hear a man overboard. So everybody runs topside because that's what you do. Everybody goes up to help to get this guy. There was a guy that fell off coming back from town. He was kind of drunk. And, uh, you know, just kept walking he didn't he didn't turn he walked off across the first boat he walked off to our boat and then he didn't turn to come onto our boat he just kept going well it's you know it's a six foot plunge straight into the ocean so fished him out and uh, before we even got him down two more guys cross over first guy wasn't paying attention he did the same exact thing just kept walking and the second guy you know stopped he <laughs> said ooh don't, don't walk any further so the officer deck had me and another guy we just happened to be up there he says I need you two to stand up here and make sure people get from the end <laughs> of the brow to the hatch and get them down below and so that's what we did for the next few hours is made sure everybody uh, stayed dry and they did uh, basically you had to hold on to them as they were going because they were pretty wobbly a lot of them